Good day, everyone. Good day, future physical therapists, my future colleagues. Welcome to Liceo de Cagayan University. My name is Manuel Sebastian Egaite. Uh, you can call me Sir Mani for short. I am a licensed physical therapist, uh, last 28, 2018. Okay, so I've been teaching in Liceo for three years. So I got my first job here yet in Liceo Automatic. I've been in the academic setting yet. Nonetheless, I was trained my good to handle patients, not handle students. But I'll just show you, I'll, I'll share to you my experience Japan, in handling patients. So before I uh, teach in Liceo, I was still able to handle a patient named, I will not name na lang, but uh, she is a, what they call this, a patient with schizencephaly. So schizencephaly is delayed ang young growth like delay ang development niya so usually she is actually mga five years old but her what to call this his her abilities is still at the age of like two years old na bata <clears throat> okay so based on my experience at two years i was a i was the one that actually uh have have her you know, from slouching position no head control <clears throat> unable to stand, unable to communicate to specific uh, individuals. So I was able to treat her effectively because of me, be, me being in the academic setting. Because being in the academic good, I was able to learn a lot sa, akong mga, sa, sa mga new researches, up, update mga permanente. Uh, so that is why the good thing about a physical therapist is that you can see a bit when you see your patient have a, have progress it is very what they call this rewarding on your part especially when the mother is very thankful you that uh therapy sa uban pero only here i was the one that handled her now there is a very great good na improvement sa bata so the good part of being a physical therapist is that you can uh, you can you can you have a very great impact on a life of a person like patients with stroke so before stroke patients are usually very depressed mang good but when you get to know them you, know, you get to treat them you learn to lag mag my friends that ayan ka ayo mo is that they will start to become happy na po so because of your the way you were able to communicate, naka build mo of friendship, good friends na ko na. But for short, uh, professional level na uh, band. So from depressed, ma excited na siya, magparihab, kanahan na siya magparihab. Uh, it is a bonus pag yun is that kung good ang kung ang patient is happy kayo, automatic po pas pas po ng improvement na niya. Kaya ko man siya, cooperative man siya na patient. So that is the best part of being a physical therapist. So, uh, being uh, in the paramedical setting, so you already know your task, which is to help uh, individual help what they call certain individuals with medical needs. So there are certain hurdles, man, you na you need to adapt na na mga patient na tigid mo cooperate, but eventually is mahita yung tactics. As a physical therapist na, saan man na kung hiyo para mo, mo cooperate ko siya sa kuha. So based on that ng mga kuhanin mo, magamit yun yung yung utok, di ba? So kita mga physical therapist is madiskarte yun yung kaya na. Di ba? Okay, hindi ka diskarte na. Ay mong patient dahil di lang na mo, di, the patient will not be able to exercise naman. Di ba? So, uh, now man yun, um, now that it is in, it is in the pan pandemic man up, period is limited good kayo ta sa what they call is access to a patient but there's also my good na tawag na telerehab it was it was also effective by Japan so recently i had an intern had the telerehab i was very surprised that despite na wapo siya naka face of patient she was able to what they call is interview the patient mm, very good very good you can interview niya like wala nang list ng pasyente o Answer siya mga questions. Cooperative po ng patient. Huwag na-build niya ang rapport. Ito sa patient. Okay? 
that's the good part. So being a physical therapist, you should know how to build rapport. Rapport is very important for you to have a very effective or effective na treatment. Yet. Okay. So I guess that is all my experience for as a as a physical therapist recently. Huh? When it comes to internship, okay, very dagan you can intern. I can remember a lot. So if I mention all, it will take almost days. Tapag share na ko sinu ah. But as you can see, the base, the bet, sorry, the base. No? The best part of being a physical therapist is that you are able to see a patient, like for example, katung kid, like no head control, cannot eye, make eye to eye contact. Uh, and she is smiling man gyapon but she's smiling na nakadungo but now i was able to handle her i can see the progress that when she uh, you can see that she is walking she has head control and she is smiling you can see that wow i really made a big difference out of out of this girl so it is very rewarding that you see a patient particularly this uh, uh see a patient improve or what you call say progress good so yeah so kayo lang yun, physical therapist it's a very good profession okay so kapoy siya pero again the what you call is the prog the when you see your patient progress or there is a very big improvement you can actually katoy mong kakapoy ma fade to siya because you know you made a change to that person's life Okay, so that will be all. So thank you. And adelante, les say. Bye, guys. Hi, I'm Ms. Melody Christie G. Humbre, a PT faculty member of the College of Rehabilitation Sciences since August 11, 2020. And for the semester, I'm currently facilitating a PBL second year subject. Uh, like genetics and histology and a third year subject um, that is the clinical education one okay so one of uh, my memorable experience as a pt clinician uh, was when the medical director of the clinic i worked at assigned me to give a separate uh, talks on ergonomics and posture to faculty workers and then to uh, of a staff of a large company the clinic is connected with. And after those two separate talks, I received really good feedback from the organizers. So a piece of advice, since I was a student like you guys at the college, it's very ideal to develop your study habits, especially when we are in the comforts of our home, taking online classes and to practice uh, discipline and grit for you to complete the course you chose. Okay, better if you read advance, um, determine your learning style, and then practice memorization, comprehension, and analysis. Okay, you collaborate with your classmates as you gain new knowledge and answering quizzes and exams on time. And uh, what else? Um, do pray if you need enlightenment on certain subjects that you feel is very challenging and to not forget to enjoy your journey and becoming the PT and OT that you want it to be a few years from now. So I'm looking forward to be working with you, your students, on one of my subjects. So I'll be seeing you around. Hi guys, happy World PT Day. By the way, I'm Mom Shane, and I just would like to take this opportunity to say that despite the circumstances we're in right now, we're still given a platform to gather and meaningfully celebrate this grand occasion for us physical therapists. First of all, I'm so proud seeing a lot of aspirants in this department because before in my batch, we were the few and the proud. And to tell you honestly and frankly, it was definitely not an easy road. You get to experience sleepless and cramming nights non-stop reading of big books no reading of big books due to limited time a lot of return demonstrations and the list goes on and on however despite all those stressful encounters as a student once you get to experience treating a patient 
and seeing improvements based on the knowledge and skills that you have applied. I tell you, all your efforts will come to be seen worthwhile. My takeaway for you is claim the affirmation that you will be a physical therapist, that you already are a physical therapist, and that you are the aid in giving life to other people's lives. Again, happy World PT Day, guys! Good day, students! Happy PT Day to all of us! As we are experiencing the pandemic right now, I believe that both of us are affected to the transition of the new normal, especially in our educational system. Despite these changes, we are still here working together to make things better, and I admire you for that. Students, always remember that us faculty are always here for you, to teach you, to guide you, to mold you, to become a physical therapist, of course, licensed physical therapist someday. Tough times may pass sometimes, but never forget that life is not a bowl of cherries. There will be times that you will fall, but what is important is that you will rise after it. Continue learning and continue on being a good student for your future's patients.